somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back. back. That's the answer. This is the Appleton Oak. I'm Mason Quinn. Folks, today we're taking a look at an Adam Sandler movie. This is from 2015. This is Pixels. Now, I've seen a number of ads and trailers and whatnot for this one, so I kind of know the gist, but this is one I never had a chance to check out, so I'm looking forward to it. I have seen it, and I am definitely ready, willing, and able for you guys to like it because there's a lot of nostalgia in it, a lot of video games. You're going to have a hell of a ride. Uh, well, I know nothing about this movie at all huge fan of Adam Sandler's earlier stuff some of the later stuff uh, still funny not quite like the classics from back in the day but uh, again I don't know anything about this movie but if answer says nostalgia old video game stuff I'm sure I'll be into it so. all right without further ado let's go <laughs> oh, the old banana seat bike. Uh -huh. I was going to try to place that actor, but I'm sure I'm wrong, so I'm not even going to try. Oh, pulling a wheelie? Doing a pop Summer wheelie. 1982. Oh, Pinto. Oh, the nostalgia's getting me already with the cars. It's open. It's open? Come on. It's Just to be awesome. That station wagon with the wood side <laughs> and the... My parents had one like that. Uh, the old you bozer. The old country his... squire. Oh, look at that. Grand opening. Oh, look at that. Look at that setup. All right, Kevin James. They got the so lemonade stand <laughs> money. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's so bad. Peter Dinklage. <laughs> oh, look at the reflection yeah. of it. Oh, well, it's our guy. How are you so good at this? You've never even played it before. There's a pattern to how they're moving. Watch. I don't see it. You sure as hell do. Man, that's the thing with them old school games. You couldn't just like go in and turn the difficulty down to get past. Either you could beat it or you couldn't. <laughs> Cubert. You know, I have vague memories of certain people being very good at games in arcades and crowds gathering around yep, them. Yep, totally. A Chewbacca mask. Oh, look at that. The competition will start in 15 minutes. You too? That's so funny. I think you're pretty darn foxy yourself. Lady Lisa, I'll love you till the end of time. I'm this close to figuring out the secret of the Bermuda Triangle. Well, you don't <laughs> have any friends, do you? <laughs> Just my grandma. Kids today, do they still hey, teach you? about the Bermuda the triangle, triangle today? Is that still a thing? It's legendary. Geeks and goodbye! <laughs> we call me the Fire Blaster! At least we didn't make up our own nicknames, Fire Blaster. Who cares who came up with it? Welcome, gamers! <laughs> oh, yes! <laughs> Video Arcade Championship! What a cameo! We have representatives here from the Guinness Book of World Records, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, who will be videotaping tonight's competition. That videotape will be placed in a space probe with the hope of connecting to and perhaps providing a message for extraterrestrial life. Yeah. <laughs> Crane. That wasn't a thing in 82. Come <laughs> on, guys. Let's keep it together. Right now, we have a tie. Well, gentlemen, how about we break this tie? Donkey Kong! One of my last jobs, we had an Good arcade luck, machine like that, and we'd all try to get the high score. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love the way they're shooting. Yeah, that. it's, it's so awesome. Cool. Playing by the patterns doesn't do the trick anymore, does it, Brenner? Hmm. Seems like he's doing all right. Congratulations. On coming in second. <laughs> You're still gonna go to MIT and invent something that makes you a millionaire, and maybe even marry Olivia Newton-John. How about Scarlett Johansson? <laughs> And don't forget Katy Perry. What are we doing right now? We're too old. Plus, you're married to a woman who hates you. We don't have the free time to do stuff together like we did 10 years ago. Maybe a half hour a day. Turn off the cell phone. Continue today. Oh, so I'm going to share at Joseph Nib Elementary School. <laughs> Nib is Nib. Remember Nib High? Jumped up on Billy the Madison. <laughs> oh, he's the president. Yeah. <laughs> Catatastrophic. Catastrophic. The president can't see. <laughs> 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 oh, Kevin James is so perfect. <laughs> nice to see you. <laughs> May the children on your hands. Thank you for your support. I mean, you were incredible at video games back in the day, but that's a useless skill now. How will the children ever learn to read? <laughs> Blacksmith. Oh, 
over and out. <laughs> <laughs> oh. See that? Or did the little... Mm -hmm. That was interesting. Hello, I am a nerd from the Nerd Brigade, here to nerd out on all your audio and visual needs. Isn't that kind of demeaning? Only if someone brings it up. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, look at all them boxes. Is it your birthday? No, my parents are getting a divorce. Oh. Her name's Cinnamon with an S, <laughs> which really tells you all you need to know about her. No, I can hear a little more. You got any pictures? <laughs> no, I'm sorry to hear that. Whoa. I'm sorry, whoa? No, just you. One of those hot when we first met in high school, but then let herself go and got a pot belly and turkey neck with the... <laughs> Classic getting caught looking. Colonel Devro, you need to see this, sir. F-35s. What the hell are those things? Yeah, yeah, I played when I was your age. The real classics. Defender, Pac-Man, Asteroids. What are you guys talking about? Video, Video games. games. I'll be right back. I need you to sign the work order. Okay. Not judging, but what are you doing in the closet? Probably equally crying answering. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming in the closet, Mrs. Van Patten. Jesus. <laughs> Want to talk about it? No. <laughs> I, yeah. We are in the midst of an aerial attack by an unidentified force. Oh. Uh, I gotta uh, be honest, didn't see this coming in a game called Pixels. A movie. Looks like the cubes from uh, Transformers. <laughs> the flames are pixels too. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I know it's a terrible thing, but it's a little bit humorous because it's pixels. Do you know what <laughs> in a waterfall? He's marrying a 19 year old named after a spice. It's just not where I thought I'd be at this point in my life. I was supposed to have a baby with my ex wife, and the doctor who was helping us make the baby, I wasn't in the room. <laughs> <laughs> you already married the wrong guy, you got the worst part over with. And you married the wrong girl. Maybe it just means we're going to meet the right person now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Thought we were having a moment. We were. A moment. You seem like a very nice guy, but I just met you. I don't think my rebound guy is a 210-pound person that installs flat screens for a living. Ouch. Oh. Oh. Ah. Wow. I didn't peg you as the snobby type. Snob? I was a billionaire. I went in to kiss you. Would you have kissed me back then? <laughs> Hold that thought, snobby. <laughs> I'll be there in 15. For the record, I'm an amazing kisser. All us nerds are, because we appreciate it more. <laughs> you you know what you know what skull neck line. Yep. <laughs> are all nerds as good as you? Ah. Yeah. Uh, that is definitely a callback to the original Revenge of the Nerds. 100%. 100%. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not following you. Yeah, whatever you say, Stalky. Are they going to be going to the same I bet, place? I bet she works for Kevin James, too. Because she took the phone call, too. Yeah. Yeah, there's a crazy woman following me. I guarantee she's here to shoot the president. Go right on through, Lieutenant Colonel. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Works for DARPA. Colonel Van Patten, you can go right into the Situation Room. No, Mr. Brenner, the President is waiting for you in the Oval Office. Can you keep the riffraff out of here? You couldn't have at least changed? He told me to rush right over. Our Air Force base in Guam was attacked. Does that sound familiar to you? Yeah. Go in tighter. That can't be real. Okay, so you're seeing the same thing I'm seeing. Watch that again, okay? And just see if there's anything you can find to help us out. I'm sitting in the chair. Can you bring? <laughs> <laughs> How could you not? Yeah, no kidding. We told the press that it was an advanced weapons test. Preliminary indications are that we were attacked by Galaga. <laughs> Sons of bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this person? Sandwich guy? Uh, arcade game uh, technical advisor. MIT, yes. Mississippi Institute of Technology. <laughs> <laughs> Mississippi. <laughs> Here was the World 
called Galaga Champion. He knows everything there is to know about this game. You can download Galaga on your phone for $1.99. Not this version, though, uh, Blue Lagoon. <laughs> <laughs> he called it Blue Lagoon. <laughs> Glitches in the original code. You can see from the giant space bugs the way they come swooping in. I'm sorry, is this a National Security Council meeting or a dorm room drug party? <laughs> <laughs> I suggest the man in the orange shorts leave the room immediately. Brian Cox is so right, damn bro. good. Do me a favor, take off, all right? Mr. President, uh, generals and Zach Afron. <laughs> <laughs> Gandalf and Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> What is going on? <laughs> Brother. <laughs> oh, 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 the back of the van. Whoa, 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 no, Brother, no. It's me, it's me, it's Ludlow, it's Ludlow. What is that? This is moisturizer. Chloroform. <laughs> <laughs> you were going to drug me? I only as a last resort. Why don't you call me then? Because the CIA has been tapping my phones. JFK shot first. <laughs> Ludlow, it is you. <laughs> Buddy. <laughs> it is you. Champ. <laughs> he, he was riding in the car. I think if she was real, things might just play out a little bit differently. If she was real, a book written and illustrated by Ludlow Lemonsoff. You should sell it at Barnes and Unstable. <laughs> <laughs> I have eight hours. He, he said Barnes <laughs> and Unstable. <laughs> You remember my grandma? She's a uh, sure. I'm trying to save the world <laughs> from annihilation, are you nuts? Do you remember how there was a tape of the event and all the games that were played that was then put in a capsule? Oh, oh come on. That's what it's going to be. <laughs> Something peculiar interrupted Sophia Bush's sexy shenanigans. Inhabitants of Earth, <laughs> we are a race from the planet Valula. We accept your offer to compete. <laughs> bravest warriors to face our bravest warriors. And for our victory, we have taken a trophy. I'm okay, mama. You will get three lives. You have two lives left. The next battle is in 15 hours. You, you helped unscramble my Cinemax when we were kids. I think <laughs> you can call me Chewy. <laughs> oh, the older ones know unscrambling the Cinemax. Two more losses and... It's game over. The next attack should happen somewhere in northern India tonight. The whole country thinks I'm a buffoon right now as it is. I'll make this sick of Kareeb. Three years old. What do you think I'm thinking? That's right. That's right. That's right. That you marry me. Oh! Oh! Yeah, that's right. Oh! What game would this That's be? the uh we bump the, the one with the balls. roller uh, control. Gosh, what it's called. They used to be really good at it. I know they had I think it was Breakout was one version of it. Yep. Good morning, Mr. President. What's Radio Shack Robbie doing here? <laughs> this other. You smell so nice like the book of Genesis. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> <laughs> Genesis. So have you made any progress, Colonel? Enormous progress, sir. Morning, Colonel. Good morning, Michael. Whoa. Can anything harm them? Maybe. The cubes we recovered in Guam are normally pretty feisty. Oh, you didn't like it, though. They calm down pretty quick when we hit them with some supercharged light particles. Slot seeking missile. I'd love to see that. Do you have that? So regret trying to kiss you. I would kiss the guy in the yacht a hundred times before I kissed you. <laughs> <laughs> Begun instructing the Navy SEAL task force on the use of the prototype weapons. What are we trained for? <laughs> Feels a lot like Cobra Kai. <laughs> you have served this nation with distinction in combat zone. Look at Judge Cat is hunched over. Hmm? I couldn't get a babysitter. Brought in these two civilian arcaders. <laughs> <laughs> now, I can't do this. You can't. I'm going to throw up. We know how to do this. They don't. Let me introduce myself. My name is Sam Brenner. This is the Wonder Kid. Your worst nightmare! <laughs> A bunch of incontinent, adult diaper-wearing candy ass! 
women, baby, men, people. <laughs> <laughs> when you Magina poop your pants, you're gonna be thinking of me. Do you feel me? I think you're about to feel him, Lud. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, don't touch the guy. Just sit down. Did I do good? You did awful. <laughs> <laughs> We've been training since childhood to perform extremely complex motor feats, very specific cognitive acuity. I learned a lot of big words at the dorm room drug parties. <laughs> all that's been meaningless in all areas of our life. <laughs> <laughs> Forget about us being civilian morons and let us teach you a few things. I think we might help you win this thing. There is only one objective. That is to destroy every rock and every saucer. Ain't no way Ink is catching up to you. <laughs> Twice. Twice. Just like when we're dating. Aww. No distractions, just us. Here comes the sprinkle monster. We <laughs> 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 just received an alien transmission from the Where's the Beef lady. <laughs> Where's the beef? <laughs> 5130, 29 latitude, 0942 longitude. Ah, uh, where's the beef lady? <laughs> Man, the callbacks. This is just like made for kids of the 80s for sure. Yep. This definitely had a uh, target demographic. <laughs> definitely. That's well, like a 16 year old watching this. So where's the beef lady? Yeah, what are they talking about? <laughs> where are they at here? Ah, oh, there he oh, is. Yeah. Come on. We're shooting a beer commercial. Oh, right then. Break your leg then, yeah? <laughs> whoa, 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 what was that, man? Why'd you lie to him? Try not to cause total panic, Yank. I don't want to hear another word out of you. All right. <laughs> wiener coat. <laughs> oh, wiener coat. Madam Prime Minister, I can't thank you enough for your cooperation on this. Well, I trust with the Concord of our party. <laughs> it's, it's Petunia Dursley. <laughs> It is. That's Harry Potter's aunt. No idea what you just said. Oh, there's the artillery. I just want to touch it. Anybody who doesn't need to be here, follow me to the support area. That means you two nipple twisters. <laughs> <laughs> nipple twisters. Colonel, don't worry. They're going to work. So what does President Cooper do? His critics say nothing. He made a cake. <laughs> no, he's on the sprinkle monster. <laughs> 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 Turn it off. I wanted to spend some quality time with the wife. And... Oh, I understand. My husband actually said that we didn't spend time together like we used to. He made me a world's sexiest prime minister coffee mug. Maybe he sees something that nobody else does, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. All right, who's going to be coming through? Oh, here they go. Oh, centipede. Recognize those things a mile away. Wrong game. It's centipede. Could you ever actually beat those games back no, in the day, or God, they just no. keep giving you more levels? Do not hit him in the middle, or you will split into two. Oh, nice. Oh, no, he split. Oh, it's not going well. <sighs> No. Oh. oh, we're actually losing, guys. We actually lost our sergeant. What the hell kind of beer commercial is this? It's a bloody beer commercial. <laughs> oh, go. Here you go. He's gonna save the day. <laughs> He's jumping <laughs> on. <him. laughs> totally working him. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> it's almost like he's got uh, Jesse Ventura's gun from Predator there. Suck it off, baby! <laughs> <laughs> Grab a light cannon! Get out here now! I need your help! Oh, level, level two. two! We're the only ones who can do this! Come on, you're the Wonder Kid! Let, let the nerds take over. <laughs> Let the nerds take over. I am the Wonder Kid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! What a soundtrack. Yeah! Come on. Uh, <laughs> 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 
<laughs> oh. Oh, remember those guys? Oh. You can let go of each other now. <laughs> <laughs> You want <laughs> All right, you finish that. I'll finish this. Oh, no. go out of the streets. Man, visually, this is just awesome. It's really like wild. I mean, like you, I wouldn't expect to like an Adam Sandler movie to be this visually like, like the way they're pixelating everything. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Who are you, mister? I'm just a loser who's good at old video games. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God for that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're all right, Brenner. You're all right, too. I'm thinking something a little stronger. Uh, oh, Dan Aykroyd's vodka. <laughs> There's another attack coming, guys. Let's yeah. relax. Where my game is at? <laughs> May I have the honor of pouring you a frosty? President can't be seen drinking during times of crisis. So nobody look! <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, you have won this battle. <laughs> <laughs> nice! Please accept one of our warriors. Thank you. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> 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 the next challenge will not be as easy. Good luck, and may the best planet win. We gotta get you guys ready for your next battle. Battle? Us? Huh? Remember when I told you that you were meant for something more in life? This could be it, buddy. Mm -hmm. There's nobody better than you. Not at every game. No. No. Never gonna happen. <laughs> oh, we're gonna see our guy! <laughs> yes! <laughs> see? in prison in 2005 he was caught hacking cell phone companies and made about 50 million before he was convicted oh. and sentenced to 20 years in prison there's our guy <laughs> get me out of here it's that mean centipede killer i didn't know you can have an approval rating so catastrophic <laughs> <laughs> you need the fire blaster oh yeah that's right the one you made up for yourself yeah who cares who made it up <laughs> I will personally speak to the parole board about reducing your sentence. Pass. <laughs> Pass. Pass. You want the fire blaster's help? He has some demands. <laughs> Man, I want a full pardon. I want to get out of here for good. And after I do, I don't want to pay no taxes forever and no sales tax. I want you to set up a romantic rendezvous. Serena Williams and Martha Stewart. <laughs> You're not getting a helicopter. Number two, I'm pretty sure the federal government could do without your income taxes. And number three, <laughs> if you help us beat these things, I think we can get you out of here. And the Martha Serena sandwich. Pick one of them, we'll set up a coffee. Serena Williams, and we are closed. <laughs> set up a coffee. <laughs> Look at the He's trying to hold it together. It's happening tonight, New York City. Forget about it! <laughs> I can't believe his character, how awesome it is. What do you think the game will be, guys? Well, judging by that uh, television behind us. <laughs> they gave him <laughs> suits. They gave him, like, race scoots. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Rookie, just tell him what you saw. It was awful. <laughs> 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 the monster was real. And who was this monster? Pac-Man. Let's get us some light cannons and blow the sucker back to whatever planet it came from. There's little ghosts, dude. Boom! Let's get us some little ghosts. She's got ghosts. No! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Mini Coopers. <laughs> yeah, they're they're all in the ghost colors. Yeah. We're calling them XM950 yeah. attack modules. Why are there four of them? There's only three of us. Who's our fourth? Professor Toru Iwatani. Oh. The creator of Pac-Man. Oh, oh what man. a what a cool shot out they did yeah. for this guy. How's your mama shit? We dig the koi this. You speak Japanese? No. <laughs> what an honor. Thanks for all the joy you brought to our lives. I made your game my bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. He's a criminal. <laughs> <laughs>
you guys hit Pac-Man three times with this energy field, we win. Ludlow's right. You do smell good. Good luck. Yeah. How would they know <laughs> how the a Pac-Man game would even play out in this city? <laughs> if only they had a couple of challengers. Pac-Man is not bad. He's kind. You'll see. Oh, no. No, 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 don't no, get no, out. No, 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 no. <laughs> Professor Iwatani, what are you doing? I will talk to him. My sweet little boy. <laughs> Look how big you have grown. <laughs> oh, no. It's totally going to eat him. I'm your father. Get <laughs> 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 it, me! <laughs> All right, losers! Three on one! Oh boy. I did not expect to get a car chase out of this movie at all. <laughs> uh, I mean, if you're not going to have a Challenger <laughs> or a Charger or a Mustang or something, you know, the uh, Mini Coopers are fun, right? Yeah, the little go karts. We're going to have to outmaneuver his ass. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Faster yep. than ghosts. I'll stay with Big Yellow. Oh, they have the oh. Did you city. Do that so fast? What's up? Oh, he's trapped. Oh, yeah. oh he got Boom. him. Boom, got one. Good one, Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> Number two just regenerated four streets away, headed northbound. Brenner, go straight. Got it. Eddie, at the next no, intersection, turn left. Also. Oh, it, it looked like it had uh -oh. gas. Oh no, he's got a power pellet. Oh god, no. Pac-Man's got 10 seconds where he can eat us. Oh, yep. we only had Nas on there. Yep. They did a really good job of making Pac-Man look super cool. Oh us. no, he's got the car. In his car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he got out. Like, look at just the visual. I know, like, it's, cubes. it's so good. <laughs> oh, oh, got the save. Got him. You just got fire blasted, sucker. How the hell did he get over there so fast? Way to go, champ. Aren't you glad you sprung me second place? One more to go and it's happy hour. <laughs> you just leave him. <laughs> so I, I guess they're just leaving me here. <laughs> <laughs> Now it's time for the hat trick. They keep asking how we got there yeah. so fast. I wonder if he's... Oh, oh no. In the drink. Brenner, it's on you. Come on, Brenner. Come on. One. What the hell is he doing? Two. Three. You'll see your boy grow up. Yeah, the strategy. He's waiting the... right yep. till he... The countdown. Ten. Ten. Got him. Nice. Oh, oh, got him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ah, <laughs> Arcader. <laughs> ah, Cubert. It's Cubert. Can I kill it? <laughs> yes, how? Mr. President, your approval ratings have tripled. <laughs> Robert Schmiel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just using big words to try to make him look like an idiot. <laughs> don't thank me. It's Sam Brenner and his team who have brought us here to the brink of victory. I don't know what would be worse, them failing or them actually pulling this off. What was that? Can you shut up for five seconds? <laughs> <laughs> Patterns, is that why you were so good with Pac-Man and Centipede? Count the bullets, calculate the speed, crunch the numbers. You gotta pretend you're the guy and you don't want to die. Most violent game I've ever seen. I was playing Last, Last of, us. of Us. Yeah. You know, we should get him some exercise. Maybe throw him on the trampoline. Me and him do that while you go ask my mom to the ball tomorrow night. Unfortunately, I'm not attracted to your mother. <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> Possibly you'd like to hang out with me while I was there? I'm a snob. I have mental problems. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You will? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, look at here, Serena. Yeah. <laughs> He's got Serena Williams. Ah, <laughs> <big ass. laughs> they promised me an island if I did this. Uh, an island. Uh. Hey, Brenner. Hey, Brenner. <laughs> Little tux. Excuse me for a second. You look nice in a tux. Green's officially my favorite color now. You never see Sailor in a tux, so. What happened? You brushed your teeth. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> oh, come on. No, he can sing, so this is really him, which yeah. is awesome. Let's hear about Cinnamon. What does she look like? She's hot uh -huh. and limber. Kind of looks like a flounder. The ex-husband's going to be looking into those eyes and saying, what kind of choice did I make? I used to stare into the most beautiful eyes I've ever seen, and now I'm... Did you say a beautiful eyes? <laughs> While insulting the other chick. <laughs> <laughs> wow. While insulting the other chick. Ooh. Can I have some of that? No? I thought we were splitting it. Hoo-yah! <laughs> <laughs> so what are you going to do after all this? You going to go back to the nerd brigade? Someone with your skills, you'd be better off inventing technology rather than installing it. I feel like everything's going great. Giant ape throws another barrel at me. I am proud to introduce a special message. Oh, watch. It's going to get cut off. It's going to get cut off. How much you want to bet? Yeah, they're going to have the the new message. No. <laughs> you have violated the rules of warfare, dudes. Because of this, you forfeit. Oh, Fire Blaster was cheating. Remember they asked how Fire Blaster was moving? He cheated. Oh, yeah. It's a guilty face right there. Where are you going, Fire Blaster? I told Serena I need to get in some air, you know? A cop fished these out of the East River the night you fell in. I saw some interesting things written on the inside of the lenses. The Pac-Man she code for super speed? You're a cheater. So what? Oh. That's how I beat your boy Brenner at the World Championship, oh yeah. Did Pac-Man really have a cheat code? I, I, I thought we obeyed every rule. You're done wrong, civilian. Brenner won two battles, Admiral. You were all over the sideshow that did nothing but waste valuable time. You're done. All right, hey, guys, it's enough. What is that? Matty. Oh, boy. This is going to be up there with the sergeant. I can't believe they took Matty as a trophy. I am so sorry. We were once a happy planet before you threatened us. They do not know they are game. All we have to do is get inside the mothership and try to stop them. Oh, we got Paper, <laughs> Paper Boy. Boy. Here's where so we're going to see all the cameos. You, yeah, you guys keep your eyes. A lot of you know. Easter eggs coming now. Oh, there's Joust. Frogger. Frogger. Joust. Joust. Yeah. <laughs> is that, uh, is that Dig Dug? Dug? <laughs> um, isn't that Dig Dug? Dig oh, yeah, yeah, it might have yeah, been Dig yeah, Dug. Yeah, yeah, never mind. Never mind. That's not Metro. Tetris. Tetris. <laughs> oh. Building drops. Nobody's better at the crane game than me. They tried to take me to some underground bunker, so I went rogue. <laughs> the flag in the background. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Live long, laugh much, love often. Neville kicks some ass. The Smurfs. <laughs> 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 I don't know if that's Dig Dug. Oh, yeah, that's I don't think I got. Oh, oh, there's our guy, there Jumpman. Jesus. <laughs> hey. Hey. Oh, oh, it's his girl. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, but, dude. But he's, he's, he's got to snap out of it, though. I prayed for this, but apparently you don't feel the same. Not good. Okay, we're under it, Hubert. Now what? Yeah. Oh, Max Headroom. <laughs> well, well, well. The boss wants to meet you in person. If you defeat him, you save your planet. See you on the other side. <laughs> you are so powerful, just as I imagined. <laughs> <laughs> you win. I'm not going to fight you anymore. I can die a happy man knowing that I found true love. <laughs> oh, is it working? <laughs> they did the forearm. <laughs> hey, look at that! And I couldn't even get a handshake from Serena Williams. I had to prove to myself and to the world that I could do this without cheating. You're gonna introduce me to your girlfriend? Fiance. 
<laughs> Smiles. Where are we, Cuber? What is this place? I don't know. Oh. Mm. Donkey Kong. Only one way to beat this game. Jump! Incoming! Oh, he oh, lost the hammer. Oh, that's I can't awesome. Do this. There's no pattern. Use cheat codes. I'm the Donkey Kong champion of the world. Reset button. <laughs> <laughs> Help me. Help me. Okay, fine. What? <laughs> Here, grab onto my mighty hammer. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you're doing, please hurry up. I've been waiting to do this since 1982. Oh, it's... I mean, I'm not sure that's exactly how the game works, but it's still awesome. I don't know, I've never beaten Donkey Kong. <laughs> By throwing a hammer at him. My second favorite president. You know Obama's still my man, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kevin James just can't get a win. No more taxes! <laughs> no. 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 Oh, yeah, because she's with them. We gave him back Huber. <laughs> Eddie, never thought I'd see you again. I'm sorry for cheating back in the day when we was kids. You need to admit to Brenner that he's the best in the world. Eh, no way. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Brenner. <laughs> you are the best in the world. <laughs> The Donkey Kong. That's right, I am. I finally had the one thing I wanted. And While you guys were out, you know, saving the world, you kind of destroyed his. <laughs> I love that line. Oh. <laughs> no one else is weirded out by this. That was just Cubert. <laughs> I guess you're not a nerd anymore. Nerds are the greatest kissers. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Look at that. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> oh, me, me. <laughs> oh, She's in her tennis gear, too. Start <laughs> 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 with a panini. <laughs> Unreal. <laughs> Daddy's home. Ah, they're little cuberts. <laughs> Folks, I had no idea I was gonna have this much fun with this movie. Now, granted, it is Adam Sandler. He hit a ton of home runs early in his career, but like Oak said, some of the later ones, ah, eh, hit or miss, I guess. But this one was just awesome. And like I was saying, they absolutely through the budget at this thing uh it looks like they had between 88 and 129 million to work with and it did 245 almost at the box office so they definitely threw the budget at it and it showed visually this was just awesome an absolute blast callback for anybody who played the early video games on a 2600 atari or mm -hmm. early nintendo just oh, so much fun and you know, Adam Sandler always has really good soundtracks in his movies. This one was no different. Just it just it all worked in perfectly. Everything looked so good. The everybody loved the the characters were lovable. I mean, yeah, Kevin James as the president. I totally did not see that coming. He did <laughs> such a good job of it playing the role that we all love seeing him play. Josh Gad was great. And of course, Peter Dinklage, I think, stole the show. He was incredible as the fire blaster. I'll, I'll give him that. But just a, a complete surprise. I'm I'm almost speechless with how much fun this was, how good it was, and like just how simple and tight the story was. Like It didn't need to get overly complicated or throw a bunch of weird different storylines in. It was like, nope, this is what it is. Aliens are coming. They took the form of video games and we need to beat them and that's it simple as can be so an absolute blast of a ride um i hope we can maybe check out maybe some more adam sandler movies down the road uh that we haven't seen maybe we didn't give a chance to and maybe we should have but this one was just so much fun wow 
Well, well, <laughs> well. I told you you guys would have such a fun time with this one, especially the nostalgia factor. I mean, I, I forgot which year that it started, but it was 82, as we saw. And I just knew you guys would love the music. I knew you guys would love the beginning with 82, just the, the styles, the representation, even the bike. You said yeah, you even loved the bike. The cars. And it, the obviously the music was just just amazing like he always does in a lot of his movies but yeah like peter dinklage to me too was just amazing in this <laughs> just the way he came out doing his thing you know it's like talking about he did and how he wanted serena and martha stewart <laughs> but just the visuals was amazing and all the callbacks to all the games from centipede to galga to uh what, what was what did we figure the one was uh, in india that happened in India. Oh, it was uh, like Breakout. I yeah, think. like Breakout, something like that. Pac-Man, to which we found out that ugh, he's not uh, a good boy. Fire Blaster is a uh, is a bit of a cheater, yeah. but uh, I I wonder what happened to the dog. Oh, I think that might have been a scene. Is just all it is. Just I think the dog licking, if that was one. But yeah, this I knew we were gonna have a fun time with it. It's an easy watch. It's you know the whatever gets sent up space. You just. Video games are attacking and how to beat them. Obviously, we had every, and like you might not hear it on the YouTube cut, but everybody's working for the weekend kicks in. Yeah. You know, brings back memories. Obviously, Farley and SNL, but also yeah. that Adam Sandler has the wherewithal to. I'm gonna throw it in this in the, in this movie and just how much fun they had with it. To even Josh Gad being a conspiracy <laughs> theorist, then yelling at the SEAL team, calling them maggots good. and wherever the female form of maggots are, and just having the chloroform just. And, and it was just amazing. They all did a great performance, and yeah, just an easy, fun watch. And even Brian Cox oh, being like good. being the total a hole that he, only he can be oh, in so this role. So yeah, I I'm so glad you guys are so far. Yeah. I'm so glad that you had a lot of fun yeah. with this. Now and, I'm and just real quick, Sandler's comedic timing was perfect as in this always, one. and in this the one. little jokes oh, and the quips oh that God. he's known for absolutely so good. delivered. So good. Oh, this was, I, I you know, as many people have said, look, a little speechless. Billy Madison is one of, like, my favorite movies of all time. If people, is it in your top five? It's hard to put, like, in yeah, top five against, what it is, yeah. against movies like Gladiator and Shawshank. I, I, the first time I saw Billy Madison, I was at a sleepover for a birthday party. Bunch of guys. I think, you know, it was at 95 when it came out or whatever. Something like something that. I think we were all there. freshmen in high school or eighth grade or something like that. And I, I it just, when when he was speaking gibberish in Billy Madison, <laughs> so we were dying, you know? And then Happy Gilmore came out. And I mean, he just had this this string of movies that were so much fun. And then a little later, you know, Fifty First Dates was amazing. Um, Grown Ups was fun. He's had a couple that, you know, I, I didn't love and that I had a hard time getting into. And maybe because I was nostalgic about how wild his original movies were, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, and and so uh, it's been a minute since I've been really into an Adam Sandler movie. So I was kind of like a little bit hesitant coming into this one. But this was so much fun. <laughs> it was, of course, the nostalgia, right? Like, mm -hmm. um, I got to imagine, like, if younger people watch this, it's still a fun watch. Like, the, the visuals of it were incredible. Um, you know, older people, you know, they probably, you know, people older than us probably, mm -hmm. you know, maybe they, maybe they're not the demographic, but if they did, they remember their kids playing it. But, like, people who are, like, in their mid to late 30s or, like, mid 50s, you know, Adam Sandler's age, essentially, this is just, just a, just an just a wave of nostalgia and it was so much fun but nostalgia aside it was a it was a fun story right mm -hmm. like you know relatively recently we did galaxy quest kind of the plot of galaxy quest was they watched <laughs> old episodes <laughs> of you know the, the the aliens watched old episodes of the show thought it was real well here they sent a time capsule or whatever yeah. yep. out into outer space and the aliens thought it was messages <laughs> of war so kind of a a, a fun you know plot in that regards um visually this was really stunning i it mean it was in, in a very different manner than what we usually see high budget cgi mm -hmm. right like the the pixels the way the people were disappearing it was like uh it was so a, bright a and very colorful. yeah a very interesting yeah. concept and the way that they delivered on it i thought was really was really impressive mm -hmm. 
Um, the fight scenes, you know, with, with Sandler and the guns and, and the other guy was really impressive. The driving scenes with Pac-Man through New York, mm -hmm. that was a lot of fun. Um, you know, the, the creator of Pac-Man trying to, you know, the, <laughs> that's my I know son. You, you're my good boy, you're my good, son. Yeah, like, great. that was, you know, a throwback to, like, all the kind of motivational speeches that you get from uh, you know, get from some of the 80s movies. A couple of callbacks, the nerd being better kissers. Revenge Clearly, to Revenge of the Nerds, no. with a, a, a very now I guess you could call it controversial scene. Yeah. In the eighties, it was fine, um, but uh, in any regard, this this was so much fun, and I really, you know, it was fun that they saved, you know, the final battle to be Donkey Kong. Yeah, you know, you know, I mean, it's a perfect setup, and I think a lot of people relate to that. Like that was hard. That was a hard game, you know, oh, like Pac-Man. You know, and levels, Donkey Kong Jr. came know, along and was I mean, just as bad. Yeah, yeah. You well, know. And that's and that's the thing with so many of these old games. There was no putting it to rookie or private mode. Yep. You know, like you can on say something like Call of Duty, where you can no, just make it easier. Games. Like this, the game was what it was, yeah. and if you couldn't beat it, too bad. You know, and I think I think there's something to be said for arcades, and um, mm -hmm. uh, arcades were still a thing when I was young. I think they were had really phased out by the time we all got to high school. Yeah, I think they were had really. There was one in the Fox pretty, Fox pretty River much Mall and by the time like, PlayStation started like coming. Yeah, I would say PS One and people started. Early, you know, early games 2000s. started becoming more advanced. And, and you played it but the the big thing for the younger people who didn't get a chance to experience arcades and i think the people who had had a chance to play when they're younger can relate to this it was a lot more of a social activity yeah. than playing video games is now like when they show people crowding around machines like that was like a thing if it somebody totally really good, you'd watch it you know and all of a sudden you see somebody get into like a crazy level I mean, you could enter in your name as the high score on the machine. Right. Initials. It was, but yep. it was, it was like an activity, right? Like, your parents dropped you off at the mall where, the where we, there was two malls where we live: uh, the Valley Fair Mall and the Fox River Mall, and they both had pretty big arcades. Your parents would drop you off there for a few hours. You know, we would kind of, we would play the arcade, catch a movie, come out, watch the arcade, and come home. It was a you know, four or five hour day, and it was so much fun. It was a social activity, and it was just a lot different than, you know, now where you sit, you have know, kids sit in their room or they sit in their basement and they play games. Yeah, granted, I mean, granted you have the headsets. Granted, you have friend, you know, granted you can have people over. And I, and I will say this: I will say the cool thing about video games now is you connect to people Everybody. all over, all over. You know, yeah. my 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 oldest nephew, he's really into gaming, and my brother's like, he's got friends from like all over the world and they, oh, get, yeah. they get together you know they can't get together in person but they get together they talk they socialize they talk trash mm -hmm. and so it's it's a different type of activity but look there was as far as being a kid like going to the arcades with a bunch of quarters that was that like was the best like i don't mean to like get overly cheesy or nostalgic but that was like a that was like a fucking yeah. magical time mm, it was you, you remember know? if you got like a five dollar bill you're like oh that's so many oh, quarters you're playing for a long time <laughs> yeah. you'd be you'd be at it for a while uh -huh. you know and then you you had your people who like would, wait you're gonna play pinball you know the, the pinball people were a unique you know, a unique, yeah. uh, unique group. Yeah. But, I yeah. wanted to give a shout out to uh, Michelle Moynihan for, cause I don't think she's really known as an action star and she definitely had like some wire uh, work she was doing and, oh, yeah, you know, she, she was doing great. some pretty cool stuff in the Donkey Kong. So I don't think she's really known for that, but, um, yeah, shout out to she, her. She was in the Mission Impossible movies. Oh, what's well, okay. Never mind. <laughs> I had no idea. You know me and actors. I didn't know she was. I didn't know she was in Mission Impossible. What what movie? Okay, so Andrew, scroll down. The Reporter. I and yeah, I've seen every. Adam they kind of buried this which, movie. Which, who? So she was. Okay, so oh, no, was I was going to say that them. there was the reporter that they were going. You, 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 you. Oh uh, yeah, um, the Robert Schmiegel. Robert Schmiegel. Schmiegel which, yeah. Click on him once. Which other Sandler movie was he in? He's been in a. Couple he's been in a few. Uh, yeah. He's been in a lot of them. Um, we, oh God. Like he's been in yeah, a Billy lot. Madison. Yeah, he, was, he was in Wayne's World. Too. Yeah, yeah, pretty Billy much every wedding him singer. From Billy Little Madison, Madison is, punch is one of the teachers in Jack and Jill, Transylvania. Madison. This is yeah. forty. I mean, come on. He's he's also just the other. I mean, just he's the also other. a triumph the insult dog. Yeah, just insult. the other. Uh, I meant just the early Adam Sandler movie. So he was in Little Nicky. He was in the Wedding Singer. Gilmore, he was Madison, in Abby Gilmore. Mm -hmm. He was in. Okay, so he was. Yeah, he was in. He was in all those Adam Sandler movies. So yeah. I was like, God, he was in all of them. 
Um, yeah. But w- what a lot of fun. So the critics gave this, it got buried pretty hard or what? Oh, it, it did not do well when you were going 18%. through your thing. Yeah, Rotten Tomatoes wasn't kind to it, which I've, I've, they're wrong. I'm sorry. People yeah. who didn't like this movie, I just think they're wrong. I mean, but that's the thing is the critics gave it, but the audience is pulled by Cinesco- Cinema Score, gave it an average grade of a B out on yeah. the A plus to F scale, which that I agree with. Yeah, I mean, like I said, is it, you know, it's not on like a gladiator level, like you said, or, you know, any of the movies that we've seen where they just completely grip you. But this was a lot of fun, and sometimes that's what you want in a movie. Like, look, we've talked about it with the Underworld series where you know what you're getting into coming in. You know what you're going to see with an Adam Sandler movie called Pixels. You got a pretty good idea of what you're going to have, and you're going to have a great time. So I don't agree with the critics I'm reading some of these critics right now, and this is... Uh, another lazy Adam Sandler exercise in 80s nostalgia as an overwhelmingly sad experience soul sucking emptiness casually sexist I didn't see that awkwardly structured bro centric and pity the poor soul like you know what <laughs> Screw the, this who, is, who wrote that see, this is, here, here's the problem that Look, I let's look up Megan Garber from the Atlantic Monthly here's, here's let's see what kind of movies she likes I'll, and I'm gonna get real for a second here which is odd because I didn't think that I would like have like a serious moment watching Pixel like Every movie that you go out and watch, especially movies that have nostalgia base, there is a a way that you can connect to these movies based on your past experiences on a different level from a critic. So maybe this asshole never went to an arcade or, or is older and didn't experience that and didn't have the fun with the video games. And maybe he thinks Adam Sandler's, you know, comedy is stupid. But for those of us who like went to arcades yeah. and that was like a big part of our childhood, like these sort of movies are fun. And if you like Adam Sandler, this is fun. It's like, you know what, if you, if you don't like the movie, there's, there's one thing to be like, Hey, you know what? This wasn't for me or whatever and i get movie critics your job is to be like you have to be somewhat controversial oh did you hear what so-and-so said but i'm sorry like you know like if you enjoyed this movie so did we if yeah. you look if you didn't there's nothing wrong with that yeah, I, I mean, get it i, I get could it. see like if adam sandler's not your cup of tea like i don't like will ferrell's comedy i don't think it's funny so i can see if somebody doesn't dig adam sandler's style Maybe I could give him the benefit of the doubt like there. This, like but this is this is a one, great great fun. This movie. is one of the shittiest comments I think I've ever read from a. God, I'm getting pissed. Joe Newmeyer, <laughs> kick rocks. Joe Newmeyer, go fuck yourself. We say that probably have to edit that. Probably edit that. Um, um, uh, yeah. Well, whatever. Um, yeah. Make five. make a note. Um, Joe Meyer of the Daily News gave this the film no stars and wrote somebody please retire Adam Sandler. Pixels is the last straw for this has been. Every joke is forced. Every special effect is unspecial. You know what? Special. Uh, here's here, here's, here's here's the thing. Retire Adam Sandler and the last straw for this has been. You can have your opinions mm. about everything else in the film, but to say things like that as a movie critic, you know what? You're the desperate one. Mm-hmm. Some of these movie critics are so desperate to have yep. something yep. like you know like, like something controversial to say like oh you know what this movie wasn't for me the special effects it might have been a little bit much sandler's jokes aren't really my thing like that's not that's not a sexy enough movie review right, right. like yeah. that's yeah. not that's not edgy enough you need to say something so out there and edgy well you know what i loved it i think these guys yeah. enjoyed it yeah. and I, i'm sure there's a slew of other people out there who loved it like i said I've watched a lot of movies where eh, oh, yeah. I didn't love it. Like we said, the, opinions, like we said the, credit, the critics gave it a uh, crap score, but the, the audience, audience well, the people that matter, yeah. they I mean, gave it a B out of an you know out of the A plus the F scale. So I agree with them more than I agree with the critics. Yeah, yeah. and you know what? And, and I'm here saying like I don't love all of Adam Sandler's latest right. movies, yep. but like, who the hell is anybody to tell him to retire? Yeah. The guy's got some of the most iconic comedy movies in history. He was one of the yeah. most iconic Saturday Night Live characters in history, and he's literally <laughs> put smiles yeah. on the faces of yeah. millions and millions of people. So you know what? S- screw that guy. Yeah, it's, it's, and it's weird that the critics would take a tone like that where they almost take it personally. It's like you're not supposed yeah. to do that as a critic. You're supposed to critique the movie for what it is with your personal biases aside, which that's very strange that this movie caught so much flack. So I'm going to basically agree with everybody out there. Uh, 
for the the audience and what they went giving it a b for me it's a four out of five answers and a ton of fun this is one i'll definitely probably watch again uh at some point well and the rewatchability for me is what helps it out too so i'm gonna also give it a four and a half okay. out of five answers because nice. i i really had fun with it i i i'm a love playing video games so then this brought back a lot of memories as it should with anybody and the nostalgia factor is through the roof with this so that's why i give it four and a half plus josh gad crushed and made me laugh <laughs> even with singing yeah I'm well going, he can yeah. he has the pipes so i'm going to 4.25 on this i think this was a fun movie it, for me and my era a lot of nostalgia do I get that it's not for everybody? Yes. But I thought the Sandler I thought the Sandler jokes were pretty good. It's yeah. his it's brand his of style. It's his yeah. brand of humor. You know, I, that'd be I, like if you went and saw Jim Carrey and you didn't like oh Pet God. Detective. His, his, oh, his, he's so weird and goofy so weird in the and hair. His facial expressions. Yeah. Like, like that's that's all that's what they all do. I gotta say is 244 million at the box office with an additional 13 million in DVD and Blu-ray sales. I think that's enough I said right there. Have spoken. for us. I exactly. loved it. Yep. Loved it. Loved it. Once fun. again, we loved it. Come on. <laughs> How can you not? Idiot critics. All right. So for <laughs> Appleton Oak, the Matt's Mason, that's Mason Quinn. Get it out of my mouth. And I'm, of course, the answer. Good night, pals.